All right guys, welcome back to our next video. All right, so there is an update to loss of scaling for SteamOS devices. With this update, it brings a smoother experience with loss of scaling so you get better frame rate and more stable frame rate. It also reduced memory usage and also boosts your performance. This software doesn't work perfect for every game. And yeah, but it still gives you a better experience guys, especially on the Steam Deck where you can't reach a certain amount of TDP. So now let's get into it real quick guys and show you what's going on. All right, so the first thing I want you guys to do, when you turn on your device, you might see an update right here. You wanna to come to settings, then you wanna to go to properties, then you wanna to go to betas, beta participation, you wanna click on that. Then you wanna to go to Linux test. Once that's done, you can go back. And I'm assuming you guys already got Deculoto installed already in your device. If not, I'll put a link down in the description down below, and then you guys can see how the to get that installed in your system but you also need deck loader you need deck loader to have to have loss of scaling in your system so now i'm not sure you have to uninstall the older version of loss of scaling but you, if you do have it on your device let's uninstall it so let's uninstall it and then go into properties inside of decky set back let's go to settings then you want to go to plugins then you're going to look for loss of scale so loss of scaling is right here right here and they want to uninstall once that's done you can head back let's click in here make sure it's gone all right so now we're gonna head to desktop mode and then let's reinstall the new update guys so now guys you can go to firefox i'll put a link down below so you just need to come to the loss of scale and get up just gotta scroll down you can click on releases so now there's a couple different versions in here. So this one, he just released this uh, version, which is version 0.10.1. And if you scroll down, this is the one that came out about, let me see, about two weeks ago. This is the one he released two weeks ago. So this is the latest uh, version, but this is the one that I'm seeing like Deck Wizard and other people are installing, but they probably made their video before 18 hours ago right because this uh 0.10.1 released as 18 hours ago um let's test out the new version that he did drop jason derulo so which is this one 18 hours ago which is 10.1 and let's install this one guys and see what's up with it all right i uh, won't be doing any game tests uh not in this video I'm just showing you guys installation process and then I'll be doing some game tests and then I'll release the videos. But if this one doesn't, it's not working properly for you guys, then go down to 9.1. It's up to you guys. And now, once you come here, you hit this right here and then it should start downloading. Yep, so now it got downloaded. And if you come out of this real quick, if you go to the folders, it should be in here, which is right here, guys. All right, so now once you got that downloaded, you can go back to gaming mode. Once you're in gaming mode, Want to open up the menu, want to go into Decky, then you want to go to settings. Then, if you're not seeing developer mode in here, you just got to turn it on by going to general, then scroll down, and then you can turn it on. Just got to go to developer mode. Then we're trying to install the file that we just installed, right? Which is the loss of scaling file. So you want to hit browse, and it should be in downloads. And here it is, guys. All right, so now you click on this, then you press install. Let's do this thing real quick. And then it brought you back to the deck you loader. So now it's in here. So now you just gotta hit install. And now both of them are green. And if you watch my previous video, you gotta make sure you purchase loss of scaling for $7 for this to actually work properly. So a few things in here got changed. Everything looks is the same, features and everything, but they just rearrange certain stuff and it looks kind of different. So now loss of scaling, this is how you turn it off and on. So you can go off like that, get a plus sign, and you can go up 2x, 3x, 4x. Depending on what game you're playing, the higher you go, the latency, stuttering, everything might look crazy. So usually I'm on 2x, depending on what game I'm playing. So also now flow scale, the higher you go up, better your screen fidelity might look, but you might lose some performance in your gameplay, like your FPS might be a little bit lower. So use this to your preference guys you hear me so i it's at 80 but i usually play at like 75 70 depending on what i'm doing and how much fps i want to get you got the base uh frame cap as well you can cap the fps in here as well for the game 
and sometimes that work hand in hand with loss of scaling so once you cap it at like 30 it will, and you have it on 2x it will double it to 60 so that's exactly how it works if it's not capped your fps will be all over the place if your base fps changes to 20 then loss of scaling frame gen goes to 40 and stuff like that will be a fluctuating all over the place so it's up to you and how you want to do it first in first out which is fi fo so this basically stop your stop loss of scaling from going over your refresh rate of your screen let's say your screen only goes up to 144 120 this will keep it within that range and not try to over push it you know what i'm saying all right scroll down usually i'm on performance mode as well so performance mode gives you a lighter version of loss of scaling and you might gain a lot more fps using performance mode up to you play with it and see what you what's best for you guys that's basically it one feature that came out with this now you could copy and paste the, the command so if you hit copy right here you copy the command and then you can go back to a game copy the command let's go to monster hunter real quick i don't have this game you go to settings then you go to properties and then you'll paste the command in here so you click it and then you hit paste so no more you got to type it in anything like that you just go to the decky loader loss of scaling plugin copy it come in here and paste it so now you don't got to type it out so uh, that's a feature that came out with this update guys so now let me get to some testing and see how loss of scaling update if there's any big difference in the performance and i'll get back to you guys as you guys know what's going on but yeah so that's basically it guys and let me know if you've been using loss of scaling if you like it what game you've been playing with it and yeah just let me know what's going on guys and don't forget to hit that like button if you like what i'm posting sub to channel for more awesome content guys and also remember what i always say health is wealth peace and love i'm out guys thanks for tuning in